Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here please subscribe for craft tutorials, DIYs and hauls and don't forget to press the notification bell to be notified of all my new videos. So today we're going to be making an easy popsicle stick spider web for Halloween. This is also a kid friendly craft. So if you're interested, please keep watching. So the things you're gonna need is four popsicle sticks or craft sticks. Um, mine are orange, but you can use whatever color you want. Um, some scissors, string, some glue. You're gonna need some sort of plastic spiders. I have these little spider rings, but I think they will work just fine. Um, you could use the rings or just regular plastic spiders. So the first thing we're going to be doing is making our web with the popsicle sticks. So I'm going to be gluing them together. I'm going to take a little dot of glue and put it in the middle of this one. Then I'm going to layer another one right across in the middle and make like a cross or an X. I'm going to make another dot on top of this one. I'm going to lay another one this way, diagonal. Try to make them evenly spaced if you can. And I'm going to do the same with the other one in the opposite direction. And there's that. So I'm going to leave that to dry and it actually will probably take a few minutes to let yours dry, just make sure it's completely dry and then I'll be back with the next step. Okay, now that um, your craft sticks are dry, we can go ahead to the next step, which we need to get our string out. Um, you can use yarn as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tie a couple of knots on here. So I'm gonna be tying it, I'm gonna wrap it around and then like flip it over because I'm going to tie it on the back. I'm just going to pull it through these pieces. And I think I'm going to tie two knots just to make sure it's extra secure. I'm sorry if you can hear those dogs barking. My neighbor's dogs have been barking for forever it feels like. So I'm going to do that and then tie a knot. Okay, and then I want to go and do at least one more. I'll just kind of go through here and then tie another knot. Just want to make sure it doesn't come loose and start sliding around. Okay, and then, let's see, feel secure. Okay, and then I'm just gonna trim the edge off of the second knot. But not too short, so you don't cut the knot off. Okay, so now we're gonna start wrapping the string. So, I guess I'll start on the bottom one. You're gonna take the string, you take it over and wrap it around one more time and then pull it to the next one and then wrap that around pull it to the next one wrap it pull it to the next one wrap it around over to the next side Okay, and you're just going to continue this all the way around, and you can make it as tight together or as loose as you want. Whatever effect you're going for. Once you get the rhythm of it, it's relatively easy. Just keep wrapping. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the end and then I will come right back. Okay, so I've wrapped mine um, pretty well. It's getting kind of close to the ends and I don't want it to slip off. So I think I'm just going to stop right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and tie it onto this last popsicle stick. But I'm going to tie it so that I have a long string hanging so that I can hang this. Kind of wrap it around. Pull it through right there. I think I might just do one more time to make sure because I don't want it to slip off. Just one more loop if I can get it on there. Alright, so there's that. And I might just put a little glue dot just to be extra secure in the back right here. So I don't want it to move. Okay, so now I've got that tied off and I put a little glue on the back just for extra security. And I'm going to leave um, a length of the string on here, however, you, however long you want it to be. If you want, you can tie a loop at the top so you can hang it on a nail, um, whatever. Um, but cut it to the length that you would like to hang it from. Um, if you don't want to hang it, you can just cut it right here and just if you want to prop it up somewhere. Um, so the next step is we're going to be adding a spider or spiders, however many you want. Um, so I took one of my spider rings and I just clipped off the ring part. Um, you might still be able to just set a spider ring on here if you don't want to glue it which see the little rings just sit right on there. Or if you don't have a spider ring, I'll just leave that on there. Um, you can glue your spider on. So I'm just gonna take a little glue. I'm just gonna take a little glue and put it on my spider. Maybe I'll just glue them right in the center. And just press down and let that dry. Okay, so I have my spider glued on here and here is my finished easy spider web. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out all my social media links below and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Happy Halloween!